What is up everyone, this is the Oklahoma Purper and today we're going to talk a little bit about what to do if you're in, uh, interested in buying a, a pre-built cabin or shed or a tiny house that has already been sheetrocked. So uh, let's uh, get into uh, some of the details on how to fix things and what to expect. Alright guys, so here's the deal. I was on Facebook and saw in one of the Shed to House uh, groups that uh, an individual was uh, looking at a 16 by 32 that is completed uh, with drywall and everything and um, asking about, uh, you know, how to get it moved and will it be okay to move. The answer to that question is absolutely and for the price five grand for a 16 by 32 that is completed, that is a steal. Um, so why do I say absolutely? Is because look at this. I'm in a solitaire double wide. This is my sister's house. Uh, I'm in a solitaire double wide, and as you guys know from my house uh, set or my tiny house setting video, that I actually uh, my brother-in-law, my sister's husband owns the company that sets solitaire homes so um, I want to just go over and tell you guys how easy it really is to fix any cracks in the drywall and um, any issues that may arise which 90% actually I've only been on one uh, on one uh, house that was completely just crapped over because and it was not the uh, it was not because of the rough ride or anything like that. It was mo it was only because um, the uh, driver of the uh, and I'm not talking bad about uh, the way these guys deliver and drive, but uh, in particular the. Uh, the terrain that they had to go over. Now, as you guys can probably see, there's a huge crack, and I just now noticed that actually. So that's actually great for this video. So there's a huge crack. Let me uh, turn the camera around, and I'll show you guys better. All right, there's a crack going from the top of the ceiling down. Okay, now that is absolutely nothing, nothing to worry about. That is actually most of the cracks actually happen right about here in the corner of the door, uh, the corner of the door jam, and they go up just like that. And that's 90% of the issues that people have, and uh, with these solitaire homes. And you can see right here the house is not completely trimmed up yet because uh, they are still working with different color paints. Uh, different things you can kind of see this is actually the marriage line where the houses are put together and uh, I think I have some videos that I don't know what that's not a shadow is it I think it's just some paint uh, somebody painted and it bled through anyways I have some uh, I'm sorry not videos I have some images that I will post on here to show you guys what a house looks like before it is sealed together so So, I mean, look right here. There's absolutely, there's no reason you should be intimidated. And this is a crack that I noticed. I just painted this wall. Uh, my sister wanted me to paint it. Um, she wanted me to paint it, uh, oh, what color is this? Pepto-Bismol is what I call it. Uh, so, anyways, this is a small crack. This is likely done from the house settling uh, it can be fixed and then gone over so that's 90 percent of the uh, cracks in uh, in the drywall they usually uh, they usually happen around the windows right up here and also at the bottom of the windows down here and that is absolutely okay all you have to do really to fix that is get white um, silicone uh, caulking and just smooth it over with your finger just smooth it over 
and then paint over it and you will never notice it. So don't ever be intimidated by, um, by any issues that you could assume would happen uh, during uh, the movement of any type of structure with drywall in it. Uh, again, this is uh, not completely sealed. They're still playing around with the paints and stuff to uh, kind of get a, a look of as to what they're going to do. And you can kind of see right there, there's a little bit of cracking going on. Again, this is likely because the house is settling after it's been set. And um, the service technician for Solitaire will come out after a few months and fix all these issues that may arise after the house has been set. Now, a lot of, I'm sure you're, you're wondering why is this even an issue after the house sets? Well, if you, there's another crack right there. If you, um... All right, guys, so I'm in post-production, and I noticed that the video clip that I took at my sister's house was not loading up, so I'm going to have to do this over again. So, anyways, if you uh, ever notice, if you don't use a concrete foundation uh, when you're setting uh, anything, um a barn, you know, whatever. If you don't use a concrete foundation, that dirt's going to settle. And when that uh, that dirt gets rained on and, and it just starts to collapse a little bit, that's the issue that a lot of people actually have with um, those cracks and, and stuff like that happening in the house not uh, being leveled. So your best bet, honestly, is to get a good concrete uh, concrete company to come out and lay you a good level foundation. So uh, basically, here's the deal. In a nutshell, don't ever be intimidated by getting a, um, a shed that is completely drywalled in um, for a very cheap price. I mean, really 30, I can't remember what the size was, was like 16 by 36. Mine's a 12 by 32 and I'm paying 7,000 for just four walls, a floor, a ceiling, and doors, windows. So if you ever get a good deal like 5,000 for a 16 by 32, that is, I mean, that alone is a deal. Like I'm buying that. Like, like I said, um, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but if I would have known that, if I, if I would not have this house now and I come across that deal, I would have bought it a long time. I mean, I would have just, first thing I would have done is called him up, said, hey, I'm getting a, a, a moving company. I'm getting a, a, a transport company together. I'm, give me, where do I need to transfer the money? I mean, that's just all there is to it. I'm doing it especially when it's drywalled and insulated, that is even better. Like I said, I'm paying 7000 for this house, uh, and it's just four walls, a roof, and a floor, and a bunch of windows and a door. Uh, I think I'm out 1200 with the insulation. Um, the insulation, the wiring, the wiring um, accessories that I need. Uh, let's see. And some other stuff. There's a bunch of stuff over over top. You can see uh, a bunch of other stuff as well. So I think I'm out 1,200 on that, um, or maybe that's include. No, I think I'm out 2,000. That's including the air conditioner. So about 1,500. I don't know. Anyways, it's going to cost me about uh, three grand to get this completely insulated, drywalled, wired up. So you're thinking that, you know, you think about this. If you have a house that is ready to go for five grand, take it. Don't be intimidated by it. A lot of those drywall cracks are fixed immediately. I mean, if you know, if you halfway know what you're doing, you can do it. I mean, it's just all there is to it. Uh, so absolutely get after it, get on the ball, buy it. Don't be intimidated. Don't let other people intimidate you uh out of buying it the hardest part the most intimidating part about that is if you don't know what you're doing of course the drywall and all that stuff but in to me because i've never 
Like, I don't even know the, how to move a house like that, uh, like this. I mean, I do now, but um, I don't even know who I'd call. I don't even know what I would do, who to call, or anything like that. So do not be intimidated by, uh, move, by what's going to happen to the drywall. Uh, like I said earlier, um, one house was completely crapped over, and that's because... Um, when the when the transportation when solitaire when diamond homes actually brought the house in when diamond home transportation brought the house in they hit a mud hole and when they did the uh, the the back end of the house i can't remember if it just if if it it fell in and the bottom of the back end of the house hit the ground or if it was on the front side where the hitch is but it actually broke a window and that, you know, on that is a very rare, I mean, I, I've, I've been doing this for seven or eight years. I mean, I, I've done, I've done several homes, uh, and I've been doing this off and on for seven or eight years. And that is the first time I've ever seen a house that far gone. So don't be intimidated. If you guys have a, a deal of a lifetime that is absolutely a deal of a lifetime you're never going to be able to find a deal like that i mean honestly i'm planning on getting this ready to i mean mud up i'm going to mud it up insulate it and paint it and wire it and i'm most likely going to sell it uh, after i get it paid off the other house tore down and a bigger one set i'm going to sell this one don't know what the price is going to be yet uh, that's just kind of a thing I'm tossing around. But guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off because I'm rambling on. And uh, I just want you guys to know, do not be intimidated by what you find on the internet. Because yes, a, something like that, a deal like that may be too good to be true, but I am not going to pass it up. Even if I do get messed over, I'm, I know how to fix things. I know how to work on things. I will fix the problems that come up with it myself. That may not be everyone. That may not be your idea. That's my idea. I mean, if I knew, if I didn't think I could handle, um, handle putting this house together myself, I would not have done it. Me and my buddy Elijah, you guys saw that video. The air conditioner is on. It is working fine. I ran the wiring, electricity, all of that stuff myself. First time for me to ever do Actually, it's not the first time. I've done it a couple times, but this is the first time for me to do this for myself. This is the first time for me to ever cut a window out, uh, to cut a uh, window out, put jack studs, put all kinds of uh, king studs, stuff like that, and it is holding up great. I mean, that is, I love it. I love it. Um, so, guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate your time, and I'm very thankful for every one of you got every one of y'all's views. Uh, I have a couple more videos coming out soon. Um, some uh, little uh, prepping uh, hacks. So if you guys uh, hit that notification or hit that subscribe button, uh, that way you can be subscribed to uh, my channel, and also hit that notification bell so that anytime I upload new content you will get alerted and if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions like i said guys if you guys want me to try something with this house that you think you may think um you'd want to do in the future hey let me do it i'll be your guinea pig i'll do it this wall back here there's nothing on it I, I'm, I'm about to put insulation up because it's starting to get hot back there and this is a north facing wall which that one back there is one I was worried about. And then you can see I'm using my front storage as storage. So, and I've got some reflectors up. I've got this uh, one by eight that is going r pretty much right where it's at, right? It's going right up there. And I'm going to build that channel so that the uh, air can uh, uh, exhaust from the uh, from up there in that void in the reflectics. So anyways, rambling on, wrap it up, prepper. Um if you guys have any questions any comments anything you guys want to see done to this house that you guys might want to try let me know i'll do it uh if it's within a good price range i mean heck if it works i'll even i'll do it i mean yeah 
So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe and keep prepping.